Hey guys, this is Mega Man NG, and if you're watching this, this t today is the channel update for February 13th, 2013. And I want to try something a little different, believe me. I really want to. What you're seeing right now is footage of a game I recently got my hands on thanks to Club Nintendo, and a really affordable price, too. At 100 coins, it's an offer you can't refuse, believe me. So let's get started by explaining the meat of this. What you're seeing today is a game called Metal Torrent, released for the Nintendo DSi. And it's a really good game too, since I'm a fan of these types of shoot 'em up games where you just shoot everything in sight, like Gradius or R-Type or Life Force. I'm a fan of these types of games. Now, I'm gonna go ahead with a review and then I'm gonna explain the channel update for this week. Now, my review of the game is pretty simple. I really liked it. I really liked it a lot, though I'm only following the main thing, which is basically using the basic ship and the basic mode, since though the game's pretty short, you could just basically like beat the game twice and get like the higher score. It's nothing fancier really, but what I really liked about it is how the design and the aesthetics. And you can look at the top screen, you see all the action coming in life. There is my ship, as you see, firing a multi-five-way laser while dodging other enemy lasers. And if you notice me activating a shield, it basically just absorbs the laser blast and helps build up your shield in the process. Personally, I like this sort of feature, and it gives off a flair that is similar to Ikaruga, where in order to survive, you have to absorb a different colored shot, and you have to switch between ship after ship. Or different sides, if you will, because if you end up choosing the wrong side, you're as good as done. But if you choose the right side, it's pretty good. The gameplay is pretty straightforward, it's your typical shoot 'em up like it's like a traditional on-rail shooter since you're only going up and you're dealing with enemies along the way. The game is like split into eight phases, and each of the phases you're gonna be going up against multiple enemies that will fire like a huge barrage of laser blasts. Depending on the laser blasts, if you time your shield right, you can actually absorb their blasts and basically use them as energy. You're gonna need it in the long run because you need to conserve your shields gradually, especially when you're up against enemies that pack like major laser blast and if you absorb them that's like a huge boost to your shield and the bosses are actually pretty easy though I do think for a game like this they're a bit meh I don't really mind it per se since I just basically hold down the attack button and shoot everything in sight B button is to just shoot your lasers and the A button is basically to activate your shield and as long as you keep that shield up constantly you'll be able to survive a whole load of attacks especially from enemies that have like giant laser blasts I think I mentioned that already, but I think you get my point. Graphic-wise, it's pretty good. I really wanted to show, like, up front what it's like, but I don't think that'll be a requirement for this short review. On the top screen, you see the action going on. The bottom screen just basically shows your shield gauge, your lives, your score, and basically a gauge that shows how long your combo is. The higher the combo, the more points you get. So it's all about consistency and trying to keep that score up high as much as possible. Oh, and you do get extra lives here, which is pretty nice. The music, I took a listen, and it's pretty good. I really like the music here. Now, there are basically two modes to play. Like, there's one mode where you have to take down enemies in a set pattern, and another mode where enemies just come in completely random, and it's just really crazy. And personally, I prefer the random one, since it's just really intense and really crazy, especially when you're going to go up against so many enemies that fire so many lasers. You just need to activate a shield just to get that shield of yours back up and running just to survive. Personally, I like that sort of thing and it helps like continue on the flow of the game. It's really good, and it's like eight phases long, but these eight phases could either literally make or break you depending on the situation. And I'm moving on to the next phase right now. They're actually like eight phases, and it's split into like four separate sections. At the end of the second section, like the second phase, there's a boss fight, and the boss fights are really interesting with too many lasers firing all over the place. And you need to constantly move around so you don't get hit and activating your shield too. It's insane, and even now, it was just really crazy. And for a 15-minute video, you're going to like it. I only showed off one of the ships. If given the chance, I may show off the second ship. Though, if people like it, I'll show off the second ship and what it does. Since the second ship is for those that are really daring and really wanting to survive this game. I only took the basic ship since it helps me absorb the laser blast and stuff like that. Now, my final thoughts on the game. I really liked it. It's a really good game, and at 100 coins, it's just really enjoyable. Really enjoyable if you want to like spend a few extra minutes letting off some steam and you just want to shoot stuff. That's a game I highly recommend. Metal Torrent is a game that I recommend a lot. 
Now, personally, I'm just going to give this game at least about, say, an 8, I think an 8 out of 10. It's good, but at times the game can get really tough, and there's, I think, a gripe with it. It's because sometimes there are too many enemies firing lasers, and if you can't move properly, you're as good as dead. You don't want to go through that. Anyway, my final score for this is an 8 out of 10, and I highly recommend this game. I really do. It's a good recommendation. It's available now on the Club Nintendo for 100 coins, and I promise you, you'll like it. Yeah, I believe it's actually 150 coins. You may have to check with the Club Nintendo website to find out. And that's about it with my review. Now, for the channel update, I'm only going to be uploading like one video a day because right now I've lost my motivation. I'm into downward depression mode again, and that's something I don't like. I don't know why, but it just does. So, anyway, I'm just going to get to the nitty gritty and say all this week you're going to be seeing Fire Emblem Awakening. And when I get my DualShock 3, I'm going to get me, I'm going to continue on with Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. So. I hope you guys enjoy it. And another thing is the fact that, well, in my personal opinion, I'm getting a lot of dislikes. Now, it's not the fact that I don't like them, since dislikes mean nothing. But likes are basically important if you want to, like, have your content be known by others. Because if you have dislikes on it, people are going to say that your content is really bad, even when you have good content. And that, to me, is a big shame, because in my first episode of Fire Emblem Awakening, The Premonition... It's like around 50% with 4 likes and 4 dislikes. I'm like, what the heck? I didn't do anything. I just provided the pro premonition story for Fire Emblem Awakening, which is something I really look forward to. And yes, this game is kicking my butt in hard mode. I'm doing it in hard casual, though Omega Evolution is doing it in hard classic. I've been watching his footage, and I need to prepare myself accordingly, because this game can kick my butt if given a chance. Though when skirmishes approaches, I'm going to be using that opportunity to train as much as possible. I have to, because in order for me to survive for this game, I have to prepare myself with the strongest units. What can I say? This game... I love Fire Emblem because it's so much fun, but the game can kick your butt if you're not prepared. So, anyway, the only thing I will say is that I will keep on going with this. I'm trying my hardest to get myself good... Like, to provide good quality content for everyone. It's just that there are some people I really can't satisfy. I only wish I got some help around here, because unless you have, like, help with the right sources... You're never going to get anywhere. And this is a reason why many YouTubers, especially Let's Players, call the quits and leave their channels and close them down. Because they think that they'll get popular if they work hard. They don't realize that it's not easy. It's never easy. Because there are so many people doing it, it's almost impossible to determine which content is good enough. Made worse by the fact that YouTube constantly likes to screw people over with their required changes. Making it harder. And to let you know, recently I got slammed. Now, before I say anything, I don't really care about money or this sort of thing, but I want to address this issue right now because this is a very serious concerning. Remember when YouTube had these inflatable monetized views? Well, guess what? YouTube began removing all the monetized, like the inflated views, and for partners, this ends up becoming a huge hurt for their pay because they end up getting low pay, and I found out on gen yesterday, February 10th, that I got no pay at all. I'm not kidding. YouTube took away the views, and I end up losing money for it. That, to me, really sucks. And that it, it is a really big problem, because their system is really flawed, and they can't fix it for jack squat. I really hope they do fix it, because I wish I was in a, like a network where it paid by views, not by ads, because their system is just messed up. But I'm getting ahead of myself, because one, I don't care about money. It's an afterthought. I'm trying my hardest to make it a hobby, but every time I try, it's always a pain. And the second thing is, I want to do my best. That, to me, is all I care about. I respect every other YouTuber who's bigger. And yes, I am jealous at some of them, but I'm not letting my jealousy get the better of me. I really am not. But all in all, that's it. I'm not going to say anything else other than the fact that YouTube has a lot of work to do fixing things up. And unless they fix things up, it's going to end up hurting many partners in the long run. Believe me, I know, because I can tell for a fact that some are really being hurt by all this. Anyway, that's about it. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the footage of Metal Trooper. It's really enjoyable, and I highly recommend it. So, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. If you have anything to say, let me know in the comments. And if you really like my stuff, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot if you guys... Check me out, watch my stuff, etc. Because I really want to have a devoted, like, an audience who is willing to take their time, a few minutes of their time, watching my content. Most of the comments I always get are from Ace Attorney, but I'm not complaining at that, because if it wasn't for Ace Attorney, I wouldn't be where I'm at. 
though truth is there were a lot of older games I did and they got a lot more views. I'm not kidding. Anyway, that's about it. Hope you enjoy the rest of the footage. Thanks for watching. Take care.